my sippers and stoners it's me on dk checking in once again and i am here today with another 60 days in okay so we start the episode off with alex okay alex didn't really do too much this episode but he did kind of show who he is straight up and i'm gonna explain to you what i mean in a second okay so alex it starts remember last uh seat last episode it ended with them uh running toward him right clearly we all knew they were running toward the ball alex got the ball they said give me the ball what did alex do gave him the ball so then they tell him go sit your ass down guess what alex does he went and sat his ass down so here's the thing like why'd you give up the ball you knew you probably shouldn't have gave up that ball. And then what's the first thing he said? I probably shouldn't have gave him the ball. Right, Alex? Right, it's jail. Once you give him the ball and you go sit down like they told you to, they're going to continue to tell you to do stuff. That's just my opinion. I ain't never been to jail, but based on the things that I've heard about jail, that's probably something that you shouldn't do, right? Here's something else I'm also starting to notice about Alex. He's looking at how Dennis is, you know, talking to everybody and getting along with everybody. And he's still wondering why he's not able to get along with everybody, right? He then starts talking about how Dennis thinks he's better than everyone else, right? Y'all don't see this obvious jealousy? This don't have shit to do with Dennis. This has everything to do with the fact that he can't seem to make any friends, okay? Then all of a sudden, it's Dennis thinks he's better than everyone. Dennis won't shake my hand. Dennis is playing Uno with me, but he's still not shaking my hand. Dennis is walking around with his shirt off. Dennis is always exercising with his shirt off. Dennis maybe should go into the women's jail so he can take that one over too. Alex is obviously jealous of Dennis and it's kind of coming out and it's like bruh like why are you so concerned about dennis i don't know that could just be me i don't know he also is mad because dennis changed his name to quincy i don't understand how, why that's even important i don't know okay shanice i just kind of wanted to like get her out the way because the only thing that is happening in her storyline is that she's you know starving the only thing that's happening is that she still can't eat. Her not being able to eat is her storyline for right now, right? So it's really just her, you know, having a hard time because they not feeding her. And not only that, but they also don't care that she's not eating. And that has to suck, right? Um, she is coming off a little bit whiny and complaining to some of the other people cast members right but i mean how would you feel if you couldn't eat i don't know man that's just kind of, i don't know i don't know okay guys let's talk about muffin okay so muffin um the show comes on and muffin is on the phone and i believe muffin is on the phone with her husband but she did say that she is possibly going through possibly going to be going through a divorce so maybe they're separated or something like that I felt bad about that. Nobody wants to see anybody's marriage end. Um, so I hope that that works out well for them, okay? Um, it won't give me any sympathy for her during the show. But outside of the show, I hope it all works out. And I hope that if she wants to stay married, that it works out for her to be able to stay married, okay? One thing um, I love about Muffin is that Muffin decides she's going to take care of all of the girls, right? So all of the broads in there don't have no, no bras. They don't have no panties, no bras. They don't care anything about these women. And they are in no rush to get them any type of undergarments. You understand what I'm saying? And that in and of itself is pretty fucked up. But now that Muffin knows how to make the bra from the bed sheet... She's decided, fuck it, I'm going to make everybody a bra. She made Jen a bra because Jen still don't have no bra, right? So um, I did like that. I did like how she stepped in like, you know what? I have this ability to be able to create something that we all need in here, and I'm going to share this with everyone. I thought that that was dope as fuck of her, and um, I was glad that she did it. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so also... Muffin is like, listen, I'm going to protect everyone in here. Um, she is like, you know, Shanice is kind of complaining a little bit, right? However, 
Muffin went out of her way to give Shanice extra oranges. Not only that, Muffin collected oranges from everybody. Like, are you going to eat your orange? Let me have your orange just so that Shanice could have more food. So, Muffin is showing that at least she, you know, she cares about her well-being or whatever. And I think that that's great, okay? But she do feel like she's complaining a little bit. And I think everybody kind of, everybody in there kind of feels like she's complaining a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say that if you've never had celiac disease. I've never had it. It's kind of hard for me to say, right? Okay. Um. So, then the fight breaks out. Muffin looks at the camera and says, I love it, right? Here's the problem with this. Why would you do that? Because inmates are not stupid. Inmates know exactly what the hell is going on. They know how 60 days in works. And now they think that she is 60 days in. <clears throat> they're now talking about it, how, you know, they're not supposed to know. These inmates are not stupid. And the inmates brought up something very interesting. For her to be laughing and, and saying, I love it, when this is something that they got to do every single day, and this is something that she's doing for shits and giggles, like, it's offensive, and now they want to fuck her up, right? I see their point. Because last week, I was like, this is who Muffin is. She liked violence. She liked, you know, this kind of shit, Right? And then she said this today, like or on the episode, what is this place turning me into? Like, no, this is who you are. I just happen to believe that. So anyway, one of the inmates walked right up to her and was like, are you 60 days in? Right? Then the black girl gets to defend a muffin. Talking about why she not 60 days in. That's not her. She not this. She not that. Muffin is like, what is 60 days in? Yada, yada, yada. She knew she had fucked up. So the girl kept saying, are you 60 days in? I think you 60 days in. And so while the black girl is defending her, Muffin kind of like walks away. Like, man, I got to get away from here. You lead a black girl to defend you over some shit and it's a lie. Don't we know how that story goes? That's all I'm saying. Anyways, um... She says that they're only saying that stuff about her because they're jealous. That is classic too. That's classic muffin behavior. No, they're saying it because you let your guard down and you looked at the camera and said, I love this. And when you tried to give your, your explanation when you was lying, they wasn't believing your lie. That's what happened. They not jealous of you muffin. They could care less about you, right? That's the problem. That's the problem. Let's talk about Jennifer. So Jennifer goes in there and you know, Jennifer's pretty. Um, she has a past and the past involves some time in prison. So she knew how to adapt. She's walking around with some big ass clothes and no bra, but outside of that, she wasn't having no problem. So then they just show how everybody is super in love with her. Like they are talking about how beautiful she is and how she has this amazing personality and she's not having no problems in there, right? She say she's always been able to draw people. Listen, the anointing generally draws people. She is her her goal is to go in there and make change and this is the way that she does it by people being drawn to her she i told you i felt like she was gonna make it she definitely feels like uh shanice is doing some complaining here she definitely feels like you know you signed up for this you gotta suck it up right she is not feeling shanice at all she wish she would just stop complaining um uh, she says she has no anxiety, she has no worries, and the only reason why she's in there is because she wants to help people. I love it, and I think that's dope. You understand what I'm saying? So, she's having a good time. And, again, Muffin gave her a bra. She made her a little bra thing, right? Okay. So, Jen is having a good time. And yes, I think she's going to make it. Dennis. Dennis. I saved Dennis for last because there's so much to talk about. Okay? This dude has decided he was going to be going off his own program. He decided that he didn't want the rules. He decided he was going to create his own situation. 
while he was inside. Seems like he loved it in there. He's always doing little things to break the rules. So apparently, you are not supposed to have your shirt off. It's not allowed. However, Dennis always got his shirt off. Taking pictures, you know, for the camera. Not taking pictures, but posing for the production crew and stuff like that. Doing pull-ups, doing the sit-ups and exercising. And all of this other here bullshit, right? So, Dennis has decided that the rules are not for him. Um, Dennis is in his cell talking to a few of the guys, right? And the guys is telling him, like, hey, you really want to go to the drug unit because it's a lot of money over there. White boys is over there. They're going to do everything for you. They're going to get you money. They're going to da 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 right? So that's the unit you want to get to, right? Dennis goes out of his way because there was some overcrowding, and they're going to take some people to that unit. He wants to volunteer for the unit, he goes to talk to the lady. She's like, go get your shit, right? Him, his, his boy, they decide they're going to go to the other unit. Here's the problem. There's no production crew there, no cameras there. He can't be, protect he can't be protected there. But he just leave on his own. He just decided to leave. Like, who the fuck are you? How are you just going to decide to leave on your own? You volunteer for this program, meaning you go do the program within the parameters of how the program is set. But nope, not Dennis. Dennis decides he going to do what the fuck he want to do, right? Okay. So production decides that they got to call the warden, the, the, the sheriff or whatever. Like, yo, this dude done went off the rails. We've never had this happen before. There's no way to protect him, right? So... The sheriff got to come and do whatever the fuck to get him out of the jail so that they can have a talk. They meet up at the elevator and the sheriff is like, yo, you can't decide that you're going to do your own thing. You can't keep bucking the rules. You can't keep doing all of this stuff that you're doing. Like, it's just not okay or whatever, right? So then uh, Dennis is like, don't raise your voice at me. So now you can't be disciplined? Really? Like, come on, you know you're breaking the rules right now. But the warden is like, yo, if you can't abide by the rules, like, we can get you out of here right now. It's nothing. Right? So I guess he's like, he chose to back down, you know. But he's now deciding that, oh, the warden is going to show me my respect. Maybe we're going to see each other after this thing is over because he's not respecting me. No, you being disrespectful. No, he's not respecting you. He doesn't have to respect that type of behavior that you are distributing right now, exhibiting right now. Did I say distributing? Lord. I thought something else that was interesting. Um, he told the sheriff that they asked him to go to the other unit, but they didn't. Like, no, he asked because they told him how the money was or whatever the case is, but he spun it, like, to get over there, right? So then the producers asked him, like, what was it like in the other unit? And he's like, man, it was amazing. They treated me like a king. They put my bed out for me and everything. Like, that's some prison shit. That nigga's really in there now. He's really like, no, I'm in this thing. They put my bed out for me. So basically, he now he mad because he got to come up with a reason to get back to the other unit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you got to come up with a reason to get up out of there, and now you don't want to get up out of there because they treat you good. Like, no, that's not how this works. You understand what I'm saying? So that's all the more reason why he, like, the, the chief disrespected me, and I'm going to fucking see him after this is over. It's pretty much what he said, right? So basically, now you got a situation where the chief, he's concerned about the success of the program, as he should be. You know, two people have already quit. Um, one person is going rogue and he don't really know how the rest of the stuff is going to go. One girl ain't eating, so she might quit too. So he feels like he got to bring in somebody else to make sure that the program is a success, right? Somebody to like save the whole thing and really get in there and, and get with them, right? Apparently it's this guy, uh, black guy they bringing in. He seems like he's ex-military or a cop or something like that. I don't understand how he going to go in there and fake anything. I don't understand how he think he going to pass for a criminal. I don't know. We going to see on Thursday. But I was just looking like, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know. Hmm.
Anyway, y'all, uh, that's really all I have to say about this. Now, now that we're down to, what, are we down to five? Let me get my predictions. Dennis, um, <sighs> he'll make it if they don't throw him out before 60 days. If he don't make it, it'll be because they kicked him out, not because he quit. He's definitely not going to tap out. Not in my opinion, okay? Um, Shanice. I don't know if Shanice is going to make it the whole 60 days if she don't get some commissary, okay? If she gets some commissary, she going to make it. I said she would make it in the beginning. I think she going to make it still if she gets her commissary. Jen is absolutely going to make it. Muffin, I thought Muffin was going to quit last week. I don't know if Muffin is going to make it. I don't, I don't really think so. I don't think that she's mentally strong, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, who else? Alex. I think Alex can make it. I do. Um, and, and that's it. Yeah, I think everybody else that's left is going to make it, except for maybe Muffin. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see y'all next week for my review. This is the ending of my video. <laughs> oh, thank y'all for watching.